Oh, welcome back dear friends inside this class we are going to discuss about javascript nested if and you can see this the title javascript nested if so nested if is called if you are inserting if inside another if then that is called nested if inside this i'm just going to create some variables for example variable uh you can say laptop variable laptop is equal equal to i'm just saying del and another variable variable uh, rem or you can say color is equal equal to you can say and just silver color and one more variable you can say variable uh, rem is equal to you can say just uh, 16 gb of rem this wonderful laptop and three variable is enough if you want you can create more variable than that but for just uh, making you understand on working nested if this three variable is n so here i'm just writing the first condition if so laptop make sure the spelling is correct this not laptop this laptop if laptop is equal equal to del so you can see we got a curly braces inside this we are going to run the second if if then you have after the laptop we have color the color is equal equal to black color not black color we silver color we have assigned then we have another curly braces for the uh, another if you can see we are using if inside another if so this called nested if so this time we have rem if rem is equal equal to uh, just 16 gb of frame we have here you can see this 16 gb of frame then you can just print a message for all of these you can use here document dot write document dot write function and you can see here uh, this is my favorite laptop if all the condition is true so this message will print on the browser open in browser so i'm going to zoom this for you this is my favorite laptop because all the condition is true because you want this laptop the company is dell the color is silver the ram is 16 gb everything is just your favorite and this your favorite laptop what uh, for example if the company is not dell or what if the uh, RAM is not 16 GB so you can see uh, we have just a bracket curly braces open after the 16 GB of RAM this is started from here and this ended from here for example the RAM is not 16 GB it is just uh, something like 8 GB so you can just write a message for that after the closing take of this curly braces I'm just writing here else and you can copy this document.write for saving the time you can just say here for, so this time the RAM is not a 16 GB it is 8 GB you can see uh, you can say here please change the RAM not just this a message nothing else so we can save this now come here and refresh so you can see please change the RAM so what if the RAM is 16 GB I'm just going to put this to 16 GB back we can save this and refresh so you can see we got the message this is my favorite laptop so if the RAM is 16 GB but the color is not silver for example the color is a black color so you want a message for this so this the starting uh, take off for this curly braces and this the ending take you can copy this one click here uh, just before after the color and you can find the closing take here you can paste this here and i'm just uh, saying please change the uh, please please provide a silver color silver color just this a message nothing else so we can save this now come here and refresh please provide silver color so if we put this to silver 
so again we must get this message this is my favorite laptop so again you can just put the else condition for the dell so if the company is not dell it is hp so you can see this the starting tag and this the closing tag you can just put a message here for example uh, uh, please uh, provide laptop in dell company so you can save this and refresh so you can see please provide laptop in dell company because i want the laptop should be in dell company this is my favorite so if you put this back in the dell company so everything is okay so we'll got this message so this is the way of using if inside another if you can see we have used multiple time if inside another if and this called nested if i hope you are understand what is nested if and how you can use this nested if thank you for watching this video please watch the videos again and again and do some practice see you in the next class